OK, I'm just going to pull up a few shots now just to go through aperture, the different sort of levels of it and also depth of field. This shot here is quite good to show depth of field. Now with depth of field, the way I kind of think about it is where do you want the point of focus in your picture to be? If you want it to be all over the picture, then you'd say use a high aperture, something like f32. If you wanted a specific part of the picture, to be in focus and the rest of it to be sort of slightly blurred you'd use an aperture of say you know f4.2 f5 to explain this you see how the background in this image the cloud is out of focus with this when i was taking the shot i thought where do i want the focus to be okay i've just pulled up a few images now to show you about ISO or ASA number, mostly it's ISO now. ASA it used to be when you had film. Now, as we explained before, the ISO is the sensitivity of the chip or your film to light. Uh, it kind of goes back to when we had little light sensitive crystals on a uh, film for cameras that's why when you were buying film it would say ISO 100, ISO 1600 because it was how sensitive those little crystals were to light now with digital cameras we have the same thing uh, but each megapixel, each pixel is like a light crystal it, it you know, picks up the light and it's how sensitive it is this is what the ISO is on your camera if you've got ISO 100 it's not as sensitive to light but you get a very good quality picture now if you go ISO 1600 or 32 it becomes very very sensitive to light but you get this sort of grainy effect here now if I can zoom there we go that's a better one for it you see here we've got all this pixelation this is because it's a very high ISO it's such low light here that I had to set it to you know 1600 ISO I had to work on the slowest shutter speed I could have now to break it down really okay we've got these cars making this tracer movement through the image now what I'm gonna do to explain it is put you inside the camera so don't worry it's gonna go black in a second there we go now don't worry we're still here imagine we're inside the camera now this is your shutter this blank screen we're up on the bridge and we want that movement in the cars so we're gonna set it for about a four or five second shutter speed so we press the button, we set it for a 4 or 5 se uh, second shutter speed, now we're hitting the button, bang, it's open. Now we've got 4 or 5 seconds, so 1, 2, 3, you imagine the car's coming down this shot while the shutter's open, then the shutter closes. That's why we get that sort of tracer movement down the image. 